Hey y'all, so Bill and I are here. We got Bill's boat and we're just kinda, we're getting into all kinds of trouble. See what we can't break, all right? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna show y'all how to remove uh, Alpha Drive Gen 2. Alpha Drive, we're gonna rip it off the back of the boat here and uh, hopefully not actually rip it off the back of the boat. We're gonna try to unbolt it. We're, you know, we're, yeah, well, we'll see. Anyway, stay tuned. <laughs> see what adventures lie ahead. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, you know, I would toss it. There's a lot that could go wrong, so. Anyway, we'll break our stuff so you don't have to. All right, y'all, so what you're gonna do, these are the trim rams, all right? There's a, a little, uh, like a C-clamp in here holding these on with a pen. Up here, we got bolts on either side. All right, we're gonna remove those. You have three on this side, three on the other. I believe they're five eighths, okay? Or a 15 millimeter, whatever works for you, see what fits. Uh, we're gonna pop these caps off, and there's the clamp. We gotta get like a flat head. Get those off front and back so we can wedge out the trim ram. We have the six bolts, three on either side. Uh, we got the rams. We're gonna have to wedge something in there, a pry bar screwdriver to get them to come apart. And then we're gonna put something back there, a piece of wood, a pry bar to kind of wedge the uh, out drive away from the transom assembly. So we got the uh, pin for the uh, trim rams out. We just put it in there, we beat it with a hammer. Sometimes they get locked up in there, uh, but we got it out. You know, you can see the other side. It's actually not bad. It wasn't bad. It came out better than we thought. Um, now this is all unbolted. What we're going to do is we're going to wedge something right here, and that's going to allow us to pop it away. One thing I will do, though, is I always shift them in forward because it allows me to, to uh, spin the prop to align it when I put it back in for insertion so I can line up the splines. And then also, while it's in forward, uh, it moves the shifter out of the way because the shifter will be in the way on this. So it shifts it in the right direction to remove the out drive. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this right back here, and that's gonna allow it to see we kind of wiggle it away. He's so smart. Looks good. Get the shifter in forward, right? Yep. Now we're gonna relieve. Uh, now we're gonna remove. A uh, small block Chevrolet Mercruiser engine, inboard outboard style configuration. Now, we remove the out drive on the back, so that's the first step. Next, what we're gonna do is we gotta remove the exhaust from the Y pipe here and here, okay? There's engine mounts here, and there's engine mounts in the back, back there. There's one with two bolts here, there's one there, one there, and another one over here with two bolts in it, all right? And then we have a raw water supply on this, which is a little different than most alphas. Most alphas have the outside water supply. This one has a raw water pump um, down there. Okay, so we got to remove the raw water supply from that. And the the uh, cool it's a closed cooling system, so this one has a closed cooling reservoir. We got to make sure we remove that. And then there'll be a ground power cable on the back of the bell housing, usually right back there and also the power cable, which will be going to the starter underneath the engine. And then the shift and throttle cables right there. And once we go one by one and remove all of these things, along with the wire harness that we already removed, it should pretty much lift right out. Maybe have to shim it forward a little bit, but we got room here, so that's good. All right, so we're gonna get to taking this apart. What we gotta do is the fuel line, it's head right there to the fuel water separator. Make sure we disconnect that also. All right, y'all, down there, that's the uh, engine mount. There's one on each side under the exhaust manifold. Oh, they're usually three quarter. These are five eighths. Uh, a little hard to get to. You might have to remove an exhaust manifold depending on the configuration of the engine. Um, we're gonna remove the raw water right there. Okay, we got the throttle cable right there. That's gotta come off. We already removed the shift cable over there. You can see the bolts by Bill's arm. Fuel lines off right there. And then now he is working on the hydraulic assist uh, in the back. Be careful with, uh, see them right there? Yeah. Be careful with uh, removing them. Don't want to mess up those threads. Very important that you got a good seal. And then that goes up here to your hydraulic pump. There you go. Okay, power steering. And that's your assist back there. Right there, you see them? Right down in there, right there. All right, so that, and then, uh, like I said, the shift and throttle's off, laying right there. Throttle's gonna get taken off, excuse me, it's right here. And the wire harness has been removed. So now we're gonna do the 
engine mounts on the side and the engine mount right there. See that rusty old bolt? That one is a three quarter. There's one on each side of the bell housing. Oh. And then that'll be that. Um, don't forget your grounds. They're usually grounds. You can see these. They're usually on the back of the bell housing in the corners. And then like I said, there's one of the three quarter bolts for the engine mount on the back. And those are pretty tough. You might need a breaker bar or an impact to get them off. The last back one, if you have an air impact, it does work a little bit better than the old breaker bar. Last back engine mounts. We like to make it more challenging. Yeah, everybody can do it with air tools and shade. We like 150 degrees and manual labor tools. Uh, and that's the thing we got to get to right there. It's going to be fun. So we got the engine out of this boat. Uh, we've removed the trim senders. We want to keep this helmet. So we're going to change out the helmet into the transom assembly. So what we're going to do is over here is a specialty tool. It's like a 12 point uh, fitting that goes in there. It's kind of 12 point Allen head looking thing. It's a Merc Cruiser specialty tool or you can use a, you get an Allen head that fit it right that you won't strip it out. But anyway, we got to remove this one. And then on this side, we got another one. And then that'll remove this helmet uh, from the whole gimbal ring and assembly here. And then we're going to rip this off right here. So this will remove this from the rest of it. And then we're gonna remove this and replace the transom assembly and then reinstall this helmet into the assembly. So here's the specialty tool to remove that helmet. All right, it goes into the end of a socket. Anyway, so the specialty tool fits into a half inch socket. Maybe. If I can do it one handed, there we go. And then it goes right in there. See, it splines up. And then we just bust it loose. Okay. So we got the specialty tool in there, and we're just going to remove it. And here we got the other side going. Alright, so we're just going to, this is going to be re removed from the gimbal right here and the whole transom assembly. Once we get that, uh, independent of that, we're going to remove the shift cable, we're gonna pull that out. So right, we're gonna remove this and uh, we'll replace the transfer assembly. All right, y'all, so the engine's removed, the helmet is released outside, and then there's the engine mounts and the internal transom assembly, all the nuts, there's eight of them, have been removed on the inside. And we're gonna tap on them studs to get the transom assembly to remove from the outside of the transom. We had to remove the wide pipe right there, that'll have to be remounted when we put it all back together. All right, so we're removing the transom assembly. Uh, we just uh, removed the helmet. We got it loose. I have to disconnect the bellows in here. So there is a gasket right here. And then the shifter will have to come off also. We'll pull the shift cable through. And then I'm gonna remove this ring, the retaining ring in there. And uh, when we we'll remove this transom assembly, Bill's on the inside. Uh, getting ready to remove the hydraulic lines for the trim and tap on the bolts to uh, push it outward. Ooh, nice All spin. right, so now Bill has removed the inside of the transom assembly and the studs are accessible. And we're going to uh, tap on the studs to remove the external part of the transom assembly. The now Bill's gonna tap on the studs to get off the outside part of the transom assembly. All right, y'all, we got it out. Now, oh, look, there's a foot down there. Yeah, there's definitely a hole in the boat at this point. So, definitely a hole. We gotta get it all cleaned up and put the new transom assembly on and put it back together. Hey, y'all, so we are still working on Bill's boat. We just stuck the outside of the transom assembly on. Kinda didn't videotape that in, you know, I probably should have. Anyway, let me show you a little bit about it. As we put the, the transom assembly on because we had to fix the steering arm in his boat. And if you see, there's a new seal right there. See that black thing? 
So we put a brand new seal on it and 5200 all the way around it. And we just kicked it into place. You see the helmet is still missing. All right. And the seal it goes all the way around it. And all we've done so far is just shove it in there. So sealed it up and shove it in there. And then Bill's on the inside with the inside uh, transom plate. And we are going to put it on there and tighten it up. All right, so Bill's in here. What he's doing is putting 5200 on all the studs that we just pushed through. So there's the outside of the transom assembly. And if you see all the studs all have 5200 around them. And now we're gonna take the inside transom assembly, which is right there on the floor, and we're gonna put it right in here and we're gonna tighten it all down and compress all the seals in 5200. So now you can see all the uh, seals are cinched in on the outside. <laughs> all right, y'all. So Bill has got the transom assembly in there. If you noticed all the bolts are bolted up. We got some block offs going there. Um, and then the steering arm was attached. Now this was our original problem. This steering arm right here was rotted out and broken. And that was the whole reason we ripped all this apart. Um, so we got the new steering arm and the, the transom assembly together. We just put the hydraulic assist back on to the steering arm. That's a pin right here. Uh, it's a pin and then it's got a, a little cotter pin on the bottom to retain it. And then that'll be the hydraulic assist. We'll have to uh, put those hydraulic lines back in when we put the engine in. Currently we have these hydraulic lines here and the exhaust is Y-pipe. So currently we have these hydraulic lines here coming out. And that's the trim hydraulics. They go over here to the trim pump right there. Those had to be removed and we removed the um, transom assembly. So we removed them and we put them back in. And then last but not least is our Y pipe uh, right here, right there and right there. Now these have flappers in them. Our flappers are burnt to hell and we didn't replace them. Not our biggest priority, but what we did do is we uh, put our TV and the seal back in here and there's four bolts, two on the top and two on the bottom down there. They're at 12.3 eighths. And uh, we torqued the white pipe back down. Um, now that that's all done, uh, we're just gonna set the engine in. Now we're gonna get ready to put this engine in. We got one more thing to do is we gotta bring our, our shifter back through. Okay, that hole right there, there's a little boot on the outside of the transom assembly and we're gonna reinstall the helmet and the shift uh, sheathing for the shift cable. And then we have uh, the engine mounts here where the bell housing will go in. It's a three quarter inch bolt. There's this and a spring. Now we're gonna glue these into place here and here. And what we do is we glue them into place so that they don't fall off while we're putting the engine down. And then there's the engine mounts on the side here and here, which we will uh, line up uh, the engine mounts with. So there's two in the back, one there and one there, and then here and here. And then we'll drop the engine in place. But first we're gonna put the helmet on the outside and run the uh, shift uh, shifter cable through, which is gonna come through right there. All right. Hey y'all, so we were just getting ready to put this helmet on and uh, notice this shift cable had a hole in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a new shift cable on uh, to remove this on the, this, uh, an Alpha Gen 2, we, uh, we have a, a special socket. You like that? That's the best weld job I've ever seen. Anyway, it's just two 916 sockets and what it is, it's gotta fit over this. So. We uh, put it down in there and uh, we're gonna use it to bust this thing loose. There it goes. Just had to get a little more leverage on it. Got a little I leverage. Think you loosened it up with the first one. Yeah. 
So we're just, just a 916 with a double deep socket on it that we, we made to uh, get in there. Yeah, it's it, pretty simple. We just gotta back it out of there. All right, so we got our new cable, all right? And uh, pulled the other one out. It was a little rough way to yank it out of there pretty good. And then we're gonna put the new one through. Sure went through there a lot easier. How do you see the other one came out? I'll tell you what. All right, we got the new one installed down in there and uh, we're gonna put the helmet on the boat and put this cable up through. All right. All right, so we got the helmet there, transfer assembly there. We're putting the ship through through there and then that'll go inside the boat. We just gotta slowly work it in and uh, get it back inside. And then we're gonna melt this helmet up. We're gonna mount the helmet up after we get it in there. Another view we're just trying to show you. So it goes uh, right there in that little uh, nipple. I guess we'll call it the shifter bellows and uh, push it up inside the boat through the transfer assembly. So I got the cable through. It actually went fairly easy considering our luck. So we're happy about that. Now we're gonna grease up the, what do you call them? You know, like the gimbal mounts or something? Right here. All right, y'all, so we got the shift cable through down here. Um, we're gonna put a little tie wrap around there. Sometimes there's a little retaining ring. Uh, I'm gonna put a little grease on the helmet here. And uh, we're gonna put this all back. I just wanna make sure I got some good lubricant in areas. And that's gonna be it. So there is this uh, flat washer, all right, that goes in there. And let's see if I can start one of them. I'm gonna put it on here with the grease, help it stick. I got the washer on there, and this is my uh, the bolt that you need the specialty tool for. Just gotta line that up. We got one side started. We're gonna start the other side. We got our uh, washer. Put in there. These things are like wafers. Very yeah, thin. Very thin. I'm gonna tighten this one down a little bit just to get make sure it's in there. And then we're gonna turn the steering wheel to access the other side. All right. So I got the other uh, other bolt and the specialty tool for it here. We're gonna make sure we're gonna line it up on this side. We got to start it. Always start it by hand. And then we're going to tighten it down right here. And we're going to tighten both sides down that we got them in there. All right, we're going to turn it back the other way and we're going to torque down the other one. And now we're going to tighten this one up on this side. There's a specialty tool. And uh, our helmet is gonna be back in place. We're gonna put our, our trim indicator pucks back on. And uh, that's great. We're uh, ready to put the engine back in this boat. All right, finished up. So now we just gotta install the bellows and the shift cable and the insert into the shift cable. All right, so now we gotta grease that bearing. We're gonna install that bellows, uh, the exhaust bellows, and we are going to put the cable in there and run it inside the boat. And then we're gonna put this engine in this boat because these are all tightened down now, we're ready to go. All right, y'all, so we guys, we got the specialty tool, okay? That thing that just fell, that is the retaining ring for the main bellows. All right, the bearing in there. And then what I did, is I just, there's a little groove in here. 
and I pulled the bellows into place on that groove. And now we're gonna put this retaining ring right in there. And what it does is it puts pressure in there and holds that bellows into place. We just line it up straight. Y'all, so if you can see, that's nice and flush in there. And that is retaining that um, bellows in place so there's no water intrusion. And now we just got a small O-ring that we put in front of that that helps compress and make it watertight. And then also on here on the outside, when we install the outdrive, we will have another gasket. All right place and that just slides right here in front we're just gonna set it in there that's it right there see it there it is so that's nice in place now and uh, that'll be ready for the to receive the outdrive we're just gonna align that bearing back there the retaining rings in place holding the bellows and then the o-ring to help watertight it and then we're gonna put the outdrive on and make sure all our gaskets and everything are in place out here and uh, we got to put our trim hooks on here and also we will use that zerk fitting right here to grease the bearing inside. All right, y'all, we're gonna get ready to put this engine in the boat. We're all pretty squared away, but we got a little water damage down on this starter. These bolts, look how rusty that is. We're gonna replace that. We tried to pull it out, but the bolts are all stripped out and rotted. So we're gonna work on getting this out first. Uh, so those got it taken care of here. I'm purely administrative today. Yeah. Good. Here we are back again. Here we go. You see inside where the starter goes, right there. Some engines are accessible, this one just goes happens to not be. But before we put this engine in the boat, we gotta hook the power up to the starter and then lower the engine into the boat. Otherwise, we have to remove the exhaust manifold <coughs> to give it power. It's not really accessible. Tighten this down too much, it'll crack the cylinder. And you gotta put a new cylinder on it.
Yeah. All right, y'all. So what we're doing now is we're just greasing the gimbal bearing. Go ahead, Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill is over here just greasing it up. There's a zerk fitting. You got to put a lot of pressure on there. It's all right. Just pump hard and hold it tight. I hear it going in. You got to go. It's going. There we go. Look at that. And all that nice grease around that gimbal bearing. Oh, yeah. Bump it in there, Mr. Bill. All right, beautiful. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna put the gasket on here and attach this outdrive. All right, y'all, so we're gonna get this outdrive on. The engine's in the boat. We're gonna finish up tightening stuff in there. And then uh, we're gonna align our gimbal bearing. We have our gimbal bearing alignment tool just to make sure it's going in the back of the coupler correctly for the donkey dick on the outdrive to line up correctly. So, anyhow, there she is, look at that. Ain't that nice and easy. I love it when stuff lines up correctly. Although this is an Alpha Drive. If it's a Bravo Drive, it's much heavier. Okay. Come on with it. Hold it right there. All right, y'all, well, we put the drive on, we uh, lined up the shifter, put those six bolts on, put the trim system back on the rams, and these six bolts over here, right there, okay. And then, you know, we had to tap that uh, ram uh, pin back and forth a little bit and grease it up to get everything to line up right. But there we are, back in business. We are in the home stretch. We've got the engine set in the engine compartment. Um, what we've got done now is we hooked the fuel up right there. That's the fuel line. We got the grounds hooked up. Most of the time the grounds are on the back of the engine. Whoever redesigned this one, put the grounds right down there in the front, bolted in. Um, we got the shift cable right here common that we replaced that's coming from the uh, transom assembly we got the shift assembly with the shift interrupt right there we got to finish adjusting that up all right and then we have we already hooked up power to the starter down there we had to do it as we put the engine in because you can't do it on this particular configuration unless we want to remove like an exhaust manifold or something uh, what we do have to do is secure the engine mounts so let's look at that all right guys, so we gotta put those on there. See the engine mounts down there? We got those on each side of the engine. And then also, see that big three quarter inch bolt? We got one there on the side of the bell housing. And we got one right there. We got one right there. We gotta tighten those down. We put the exhaust together already and we tightened down the exhaust uh, boots for the Y pipe. And that's about it. We're gonna finish putting this together and We'll be running it soon. In the moment of truth, it's dark. Very dark. <laughs> Y'all, so whew, we are so done with this. We're it's together, thank God. We're, we're not doing this again anytime soon. Um, but we got it running. We had a little trouble the other night. Had a busted ignition uh, ground. Uh, kind of killed spark on us. We got together this morning. Everything looks good. Running nice and tight. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's been fun. It's been real. Hey man, this is over. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Fire right up and that engine was cold.